Looking ahead to the Investec test series between England and Sri Lanka, I'm at Lords, where in fact, unusually, the third test of the series will be played rather than the first test. The first two are at Headingley and then at Chester Street, Durham, and I think that will have an influence on the series because both of those situations, conditions, will suit England's faster bowlers. They will tend to seem, certainly at Headingley and at Chester Street, will help the faster bowlers, especially with cloud conditions. That's going to make it better and more advantageous for England and much harder for the Sri Lankans. And remember, the Sri Lankan team who came here two years ago and won that series won't have Mahila Jai Wardner or Kumar Sangakkara. The absolute engine room of their batting team has retired, so some more inexperienced players will be taking on the likes of Anderson, Broad and Stephen Finn, and I think they'll have a really big task ahead of them, especially on those pitches like Headingley and Chester Street, which do something for all the faster bowlers just especially when you get that cloud cover. It's the kind of conditions the Sri Lankans won't be used to, especially the younger players, and I expect England to win both those test matches up north. It'll be cold and, and chilly as well for the Sri Lankans used to much hotter conditions. England, of course, have a few batting issues of their own in that they haven't really performed too well as a unit in, in the batting department, and of course they've also lost James Taylor to that unfortunate retirement. So it'll be a rebuilding position for the England batting order, led off of course, as usual, by Alistair Cook, who's been in great form for Essex with 300s, wearing that new helmet, of course, which he doesn't necessarily like, but it doesn't seem to have inhibited him so far. Joe Root now will be the time with the Sri Lankans, not exactly express fast bowlers, one useful spinner, Rangana Hareth, but nobody that you're going to really fear. It's a great opportunity for Joe Root to remind everyone what a fantastic batsman he is and make a big hundred, perhaps at his home ground at Headingley. Ben Stokes will be in the side, of course, fresh from that disastrous last over in the World T20, but perhaps more importantly in his mind might be that incredible 258 in the Test match at Cape Town in that longer form of the game. Ben Stokes is bound to have an influence on this series at some point. And you just say, with England's strong seam attack and their knowledge of conditions, you'd expect them to win the series 2 or 3 nil.